Hey everyone, Angel of Death TV here, doing a cast of the 2015 World Championship in English. Currently on the round of 16, we're ca this is uh, Group C Match 2. This is the Destroyer, Yua Matsumoto, versus the Blade Master, Cheng Lun Huang. Looks like the Destroyer is running Red Rage for this first match, and uh, also there's a Smash Cold on that's probably going to be used in tandem with the Red Rage. Destroyer already used their role, so did the Blade Master, however. Blade Master getting a good opening combo did a huge portion of damage. He already used his, used his lightning draw in that first combo, though. Blade Master trying to find some damage while he's spinning. There goes there goes the decimate the smash. No red rage was used, however, but still a huge amount of damage done by the destroyer back onto the Blade Master. Blade Master tried to bait out the uh, the pull and avoid it, but he got pulled in. Was not able to avoid it. Blade Master used his Z Hong Moon pull, which uh, pierced his defenses, but the Destroyer was doing iframes at the time, so it was completely wasted. Chances are it's the 1 minute cooldown version of it as well. 5 point strike that he cancelled. Destroyer used his Tab Escape, however. If the Blade Master can get a good th hit here, it'll be pretty good, but uh, Fury's used by the Destroyer, the Red Rage. The Blade Master is just keeping range as he should. Lightning draw is back up for the Blade Master. It can be another huge burst. There it is. Air combo coming in from the Blade Master. Follows up with a send. Dazes him on the ground. The destroyer rolls out. He catches the roll with a with a stun, hard stun. So there's no rolling out of that. As soon as the destroyer's tab escape comes up, he uses it to get out of that. Grapples the Blade Master, goes for a combo on the ground, stuns him, and he cancel comes in. He doesn't have fury, otherwise it would be guaranteed over. Knockdown from or air combo knockdown from the destroyer that completely nullifies the Blade Master's ability to block and he kills him in the corner without needing the Red Rage. If he'd have had Red Rage there, he would have killed him without having to do the uh, the air combo, the, the DDT. But uh, since he did do that, the Blade Master was not able to block and he just finished him off in the corner. I feel like the Blade Master could have done more kicks because um, while the Destroyer is spinning, you can kick or low slash and knock him down. The kick has a 9 second cooldown and is uh, very accessible to use, and I didn't see him use it too much there. This is the uh, the Decimate, the Smash, used by the Destroyer without any Red Rage to chunk the Blade Master down to about half. Second Lightning Draw here into the air combo, right before the match turned turned fatal for the Blade Master. We got a good combo here. Destroyer taps out as soon as it comes off cooldown. This is where he gets thrown into the corner. He has no he has no ability to block after this. Air combo here denies the Blade Master's ability to block. He has his Q and E. They're off cooldown, as you can see in the bottom right. He doesn't use them. He uh, he F rolls back, gets chased with a stun, and is unable to use anything there and gets finished off. Something about BBC. You can see the crowd contains people of all ages. <laughs> Looks like they're already in the countdown for the next match, changing their abilities and such. Based off of his screen, it looks like they're in the pre-game uh, pre area. The Destroyer combo there for the anti-cancel. Three-step. R, B, L, B, repeat. So, set one of this uh, best of five went to the Destroyer. We're gonna see if the Blade Master can happen to come back. Looks like we're about ready to head into set two of this, this one here. Hopefully, there's a. The Blade Master is able to use their Q and E. He got chased out of his. Uh, he did an F roll and he got chased with a stun and wasn't able to use Q and E at the end and got completely shut down there. But he had a really good opening. And a good mid game, essentially, we're gonna call it for now. A good middle of the match. Both of them going for the flight. Blade Master gets the pull off, but looks like the destroyer was able to immunity it. Air combo coming in from the Blade Master. Ascends. Is he gonna get a catch on the ground? Doesn't knock down the blade the destroyer just just stands up and spins, doesn't use doesn't burn anything out of it. Smash used. Big damage onto the Blade Master without any real committance. Pulls the Blade Master in, Red Rage. Blade Master has no tab escape. This could be over. Blade Master rolls out because there's a daze used. Flame Wheel comes out. Blade Master backs off, gets caught by the knockup. 
completely wrecked. He blew his tab escape a little early before the destroyer used Red Rage. The destroyer popped Red Rage and absolutely dumpstered the Blade Master with his animation cancel and some CC chains. Blade Master was able to roll out during uh, during one of the stomps because it was a daze effect, but that wasn't enough to save him. The destroyer Yuya Matsumoto, Yuya is Matsumoto, is up 2-0 right now. That was more how I was expecting him to use Red Rage in the first game, actually, because he burned his Red Rage kind of by itself in the first set and didn't really do anything with it. In this one here, he got the tab escape right there, he rolls back, gets another catch with the pull, and then Red Rage is into a great, great damage combo. And then here's where he does the stomp that dazes, and this is where the rollout comes in. But uh, as he gets space, the Blade Master doesn't block and gets knocked up into the air, which does enough damage to kill him. If that doesn't, the uh, Destroyer's air combo hits for about 3k. That might have might have, that might have finished him off. Some uh, cheering on for the Blade Master from Taiwan here. Done in English, that way uh, not everything's in in foreign Blade Master fighting. Blade Master fans abundant in the crowd today it appears. Hopefully hopefully he uses his rage in the second game. The destroyer that is hopefully uses his rage like he did in the second set. Uses it the same way in the third set. Because in the first set, as I said, I feel like he wasted it. He kinda used it by itself when he was nowhere. He didn't have the pull to use to pull him in. He just kind of blew it and wasted it. He was still able to get the kill without it, but it would have been much more simple and much more clean with it. Blade Master definitely needs to uh, step up his game all around, however. Blew his tab unnecessarily and then got caught with Red Rage still up. We're into set 3. This could be a quick 3-0 for the Destroyer. Still running Fury. Not needing the uh, Blue Rage second escape against this Blade Master, he's saying. Blade Master went for the kick, didn't get the knockdown. Maybe he's not spec for it? Counter from the Blade Master knocks down, or attempts to knock down the Destroyer as he gets hit on the ground. Flame Wheel comes out a little early. He's chasing after the Blade Master, pulls him in. Blade Master F rolls out, shield stun into Smash. Stun here's the Daze. Daze is basically a hard zone situation because Retreat has already been used, his F roll out. Air combo from the Blade Master. Daze on the ground. The Destroyer has his roll. He's choosing not to use it here because he doesn't want to get uh, doesn't want to get chased and caught. He lands here's a second Daze. Stun. Hard stun. He has his tap escape. He's choosing not to use it here. He's just sitting through all of this. He gets a counter on this he gets a counter to stand up quickly. Goes for the stomp. He took a huge bit of damage there without using his retreat or his uh, tab escape. He burnt the Blade Master's iframes there just by hitting him from a range. Just by hitting him with a regular LMB there. Blade Master didn't really do anything about it. He missed his knockup. He goes for Red Rage. Red Rage into Smash takes about half the, half the Blade Master's HP. Goes for the pull, it gets iframed. Flame Wheel on top of the Blade Master. Stuns him in Flame Wheel. Stomp for the days. He can't roll out of this. No chase. Blade Master goes for 5 point strike but doesn't knock up the Destroyer because he's currently spinning at the time. Gets the days on the ground. Destroyer rolls out, has no escapes. Gets chased down in air combo. He's not dead yet. Lands and gets lightning drawn as he's landing for the uh, comeback win from the, from the Blade Master. So it is 2-1 in the Destroyer's favor. Blade Master played a little bit better there but I feel like the Destroyer just kind of dis was disrespecting him and got and paid for it. Because he didn't take Blue Raid which is very standard to take against anybody you really respect. Red Rage is okay occasionally to get a catch, like to, to catch somebody off guard. They'll tap, they'll tab escape somewhat aggressively, you'll have Red Rage and then you'll just eat them alive and then you run Blue Rage and they worry about that until they finally see you Blue Rage. But um, he had Red Rage this time and he didn't F roll or tab escape out of that incredibly long combo that the Blade Master had on him that took most of his health. And uh, he did a huge bit of damage afterwards in return but he didn't, it didn't seem to uh, to really be enough, because he sat that entire combo, and then he still wound up, wound up burning all of his escapes later on, and then he was dead because he didn't have any health to really buy him time for his escapes to come back up. 
This is where he took the incredible long, incredible long combo. He has retreat up, he has his tab escape up, and he just chooses, chooses not to use them. I honestly thought there there was going to be a lot more damage coming out from the destroyer, but uh, he did the, the he then yeah, he then did the daze stomp and let the blade master roll out of it without a chase. And then here's the finishing combo. Taiwan's top blade master. Ooh. He kind of looks like he doesn't want to be here. Maybe that's just like, maybe he just suffers from like resting bitch face syndrome. But he seems like he doesn't want to be here. All right, we're heading into set four. It is two one in the destroyer's favor. The Blade Master played a bit better in the third set, but the Destroyer really... I feel like he just tried to disrespect him and paid for it. We're gonna see if the Destroyer uh, chooses to sit an incredibly long combo this time while he has escapes, or if he's going to... Going to... Uh, he's still running Red Rage, so... Still looking for that incredibly aggressive catch option if the Blade Master tabs out early. Blade Master er, Destroyer pops his iframes to try to be in the pull, but the pull doesn't come out. Pull comes out a little later. Doesn't seem to have any CC attached to it, so it's not Hong Moon. Blade Master trying to get range, gets dazed, rolls out of it, gets caught with a hard stun. Gets pulled in for another daze, Tab escapes out. If he gets caught again, Red Rage, he gets caught again there, daze into a hard stun. Red Rage comes out, huge damage, another daze. Grapples him, throws him down. During the grapple, the Blade Master broke out using Flock of Blades, their uh, Soul Blade burst, but if he hadn't picked him up there, he might have been able to finish him off if he had any more CC. I'm assuming he didn't, however. Blade Master gets a return combo here for about three... about a... Uh, three-fifths of the Destroyer's health. Destroyer does not have his Tab Escape, but he has Retreat. He gets to stand up because of the counter. Blade Master heals up with his Hong Moon ability to also grab some iframes, but uh, he lets the Destroyer just sit there and get rid of them all. Destroyer gets a knockdown and goes for the grapple, picks him, throws him down, but the... Looks like he got to stand up immediately, he didn't have to burn his roll. He goes for the 5 point strike, but gets caught with a stun, has to burn his tab escape. Both of them have no tab escape. The Destroyer catches the Blade Master with pull and ends the game right there. I feel like the Blade Master didn't have Hong Moon points into his Z-pull, which is a very important skill to have as a Blade Master. And, uh, he didn't really, he didn't really utilize his kick against destroyers. And he also, when he used his Hong Moon block, which gave him three of, three hits worth of invulnerability, he kind of just kept blocking and let the, uh, destroyer strafe left and right and eventually get a hit around them that just ate the hits, ate the iframes, and didn't let them actually be used efficiently. So, uh, that's a 3-1 for the Destroyer over the Blademaster, and we're gonna be heading into Group D next.